Hi, and welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. Today, we're going to be talking about some, I want to say, disgusting news that came out about uh, China. Beijing is launching a new campaign to punish coronavirus patients and their families. And that, to me, just is sickening. Yeah. These people, the Chinese Communist Party has started this virus as a biological weapon, is uh, our opinion, a tad bit, and some of the things that we've read This is just disgusting that now that they are punishing patients, trying to silence people, it's unbelievable the amount of stuff that's coming out of China right now. They need to take accountability for this virus. They need to be, let people in to investigate. This is unbelievable here in the US, the amount of people that have been affected by it. Over a million people, just in the U.S. have been affected, and three million, over three and a half million in the world. There have been 71,000 deaths here in the U.S., and that's caught up in the last few days, um, and over 258,000 deaths in the world. Where is their accountability? We know it started in Wuhan. Their own people were dying, and they were trying to silence the doctors. They were trying to silence the, you know, the the scientists. They were trying to silence everybody and they distracting people. And now this, now you're punishing your own people for having the virus and their families. Where does it end? Like, why are, why is so many people afraid of China? Why is there so many people afraid of the Communist Party and not speaking out against it? People here in the U.S. don't speak out against it either. And I don't understand why there's such fear. We need to bring stuff back home here to the U.S. We need to bring stuff out of China and we need to investigate. They need to let people in to investigate to see what's really happening. There's been so many one after the other of these pandemics, viruses that have come out of China. This is not the first one that has come out of China. Not too long ago was SARS and now You know, COVID is the SARS-2 is, you know, what we've been hearing. This is ridiculous. They need to be held accountable. Not only are hundreds of thousands of people being affected by this, by the virus itself, and then so many thousands of people are dying, there are so many people that are unemployed. Our family is one of them. I cannot go to school. I cannot go to work. I am not teaching right now. I am home with the children and they cannot go to school. My husband has hours cut. He's still working, thank God. We wouldn't be here if he wasn't working. But his hours have been cut and now you never know. Week to week things change for companies and how the economy is going. So not only is China responsible for thousands of deaths and thousands, hundreds of millions of people around the world that have this virus, but The amount of unemployment and the farmers that are losing business, it's unbelievable how badly this thing is going. And oops, it was a biological weapon that they were trying to keep a secret and it leaked out and it got out. And now, well, they're not responsible anymore. Yeah, blaming other countries. Blaming the U.S., blaming other people, shutting their doors, silencing so many people in their country. So the communists... Chinese Communist Party needs to pay for this. They need, they're supposed to be the top in the world. They're supposed to be one of the top five countries that have UN seats. They're one of the top countries in the world. The top country in the world, not letting people in to investigate, not apologizing to anybody that, that they let this out. And, and there's no repercussions. No. And making it in the first place. Yeah. Why are you altering a virus that, is you know, like HIV and SARS in one and it's can infect bad everybody. In the first place. Yeah. And now there's no cure. People need to pull all of their stuff money, medicine, technology, everything, military out of China. You need to punish them where they it hurts the most, which I think is that UN seat. And this is just ridiculous. Everybody around the globe is being affected by this. We personally are being affected by this. Not only job loss, school, it's 
you know, one thing after the other. And now people are shooting other people and coming out with guns. You know, food is getting scarce. Money is getting scarce. It's not an, just about the virus anymore. And China needs to pay. Beijing has launched a campaign now to punish coronavirus patients oh and their family members. The government is targeting people who report contracting new cases, speak about being infected, or even try to mourn the death of a COVID-19 patient. They need to still allow us in uh, to talk to uh, early yeah. patients, to talk to the yeah, Chinese researchers and scientists, to and to uh, have access. Mm -hmm. uh, what are they doing? They're trying to capitalize on this by promoting Disgusting. their own image. It's somehow uh, China is the good guy here. The crackdown's particularly tough inside Wuhan, the epicenter of the virus outbreak back in December. The New York Times was first to report that officials there have also been paying off family members to the tune of 420 U.S. dollars per member lost to the pandemic. China's ambassador to the U.S. is pushing back today in a new op-ed. He accuses U.S. politicians of scapegoating China in order to distract from their own failures. Now, as the U.S. and the international community ramps up pressure on China's government, on the Chinese Communist Party yeah. to come clean and come be held clean. accountable Let for the spread in. of the virus, uh, like, our national security sources say uh, uh, this is an important reminder weapons. to point out to folks that the mm -hmm. Chinese people, Chinese citizens, are also hungry for accountability and for the government yeah. to account for how they managed the crisis during the early early days of the outbreak. Yep, a lot of people looking for accountability. Yeah, this is ridiculous. Like, yeah, they blame their own people now. They started out pointing fingers at other countries. Now they're blaming their own people. They're pointing the blame at everyone but themselves as they created this virus. They mixed something and it's not natural. No, it's not natural. If you watched our other video, we uh, did a shortened version of the documentary and so many scientists said like, this is not natural. This should never have transmitted to humans. It didn't just come from like another virus or didn't just come no. from bats from a seafood shop. Like no, it came from a lab and it was probably a biological weapon and it got out and, you know, and then they, they, you know, of course, very quickly d shut down all the flights inside China, but let them go, but let them everywhere, go else everywhere else around the world. So now the world is dealing with this as well and not just them. Um, this is just, yeah, ridiculous. I'm glad the Chinese people are trying to come out and, and talk up against their own government but it's sad that this is happening that the chinese government is again shutting yeah. them down quieting them silencing them paying them off you know the poor doctor that was one of the first to try to go on social media and talk he about this jail. virus like they threw him in jail they probably beat the crap out of him and then they threw him back at the hospital because they needed his help and he died because he got the coronavirus like just ridiculous the amount of stuff that has happened and it's not the first time it's kind of out of china stuff yeah. like this so when is the world gonna wake up and smell the coffee and get on china about being accountable for this it not only has killed thousands of people and infected millions it's an economic loss not just for the u.s but all over the world people are losing jobs they are losing they don't have enough food it's gonna get worse and unless something is done and there needs to be accountability, the Chinese Communist Party needs to be held accountable, not just financially, but you can't be the leader of the world and say, oh, you can't come in because, you know, we didn't do it when the world knows it started in Wuhan. Yeah. It's just like, how can you be how could you get to the top with all these viruses that you've created? Like. How are you the one of yeah. the world's leaders when it looks like you don't know how to lead the world? You are trouble with your own You're trying people. to destroy the world. Yeah. And that's not how it should be. So not only here we think like you can't have a UN seat and have that much power when you're not letting the world in to investigate. Everybody that's bringing up these lawsuits, you're not going to say anything you're probably never going to pay them because the communist party doesn't go towards anything that's democratic or right in that respect and then you know so 
they shouldn't have the UN power seat. It should be taken away or at least put on probation unless they let people in to investigate and they find out how it really happens and they help make things better instead of silencing people. I bet you if we could find out how it really happens, then we could probably find a cure, at least something to stop it. Or, or slow it down. Slow it down, yeah. Yeah, if you let people in. But I think that the Chinese Communist Party is hiding way too much and they're afraid if they let the world in that more stuff will get out. So they're trying to silence everybody. Like how much are you hiding? And yeah. why did you start hiding in the first place? And how there's just, I don't know how they have silenced a lot of people outside of China. I get inside of China, but I don't know how they're silencing people outside of China. And so more people need to speak up, more people need to give a voice, and the world needs to get on them and make them accountable for this. Yeah. You know, they should be here in the U.S. We would like to see all of the stuff come back here. We would like to see all the companies bring back the essentials, you know, uh, military, the um, agriculture, Things like uh, IT and medicine, we need to bring all of that stuff back here. We need to be able to, as the U.S., produce everything that we need as an essential here and not let it get copied all over everything China. Everything needs to say, made in U.S. Yeah, at least here in the U.S. And in your own country, I hope you feel the same way. Like, bring stuff home. Make sure that if something like this happens, you can produce all the medicines you need. You can produce all the food that you want. And you are not relying on other countries because you can make a buck. We in the Jan family are not buying anything that says made in China. If I have to get my microscope out and look at the bottom of it, I will find the label and we will not buy it. We just won't. And I hope, I hope that the companies start listening and start bringing stuff back here so we can get more jobs and get more people back on their feet because this is affecting everybody. And the Chinese Communist Party needs to be held responsible and something needs to be done. So let us know in the comments below your thoughts. How do you think China should be accountable? What do you think they should do? And uh, hopefully we'll see you with some better news tomorrow. Yep. Bye.